I can tell by the way you train me, like, you don't mess around. You're intimidating. <laughs> where, where does that come from? I was in the military for four years. I actually spent time over in Iraq. Wow. Uh, I was hit by an IED, an improvised explosive device. Oh my God. It blew off a good portion of the front of my Humvee. It messed up my gunner's hatch and I was the gunner. No way. I have uh, shrapnel in my face, my shoulder. Um, I was actually very lucky with my life that day. It's kind of actually hard to talk about in a sense too, to get like to the nitty gritty of emotions of it. It's man, that's you're like a real hero, man. It's not every day you get to ride in a truck with like a true hero, uh, someone that's been injured serving our country. So it really means a lot. We're here, this is it. Yep. I don't think Chris is that impressed with me, which, you know, I don't blame him. I'm, I'm pretty rusty. So now I'm gonna up my game. I'm gonna work harder, I'm gonna work faster, and I'm gonna prove to Chris and myself that I'm quality hunk material. All right, I'm gonna go fast. Yeah, I got it. I got it? Yep. Come on, let's go, let's go. Okay, warming up a little. There you go. Watch it. My bad. Yeah. I didn't know there was something else there. It's a simple accident, but at the same time, he could cost us. All that scratching on the edges right there, depending on the customer, we just costed us whatever that's gonna cost to replace that. What is it? It's a tabletop. We could literally lose out on a couple hundred dollars because of this. 